The following contest is a two out of three falls match. Introducing first, from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 244 pounds, Bulldog Bob Brown. Byron, what can we expect to see from these two teams here tonight? Michael, I fully expect to see these two teams put on an absolute clinic in tag team competition. That's how good these teams are. And his partner from Yamaguchi, Japan, weighing in at 231 pounds, Hiro Matsuda. Plenty of star power in this tag team match, guys, wouldn't you say? Absolutely, Michael. In fact, if you ask me, all four of these competitors have what it takes to be top single stars here in the WWE. Combined weight of 858 pounds, the Gorilla and Gorilla. Byron, do you think the motivation is an issue for the champ scene as the title is not on the line in this one? Not at all, Michael. In fact, given that the title is not up for grabs, I suspect the champ is more motivated to try new things here. Here we go, folks, as we kick off this tag team match. Guys, the tag team scene in WWE right now is so wow. impressive. Uh-oh. I don't think he's got it completely locked in. Whoa, he gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Michael. Set it up. Nice, neck breaker. Here he goes. Is he done? He breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. Oh, what impact. Beautiful technique. Up and a torturous knee. Made. What's in store here? Drop toe hold. Nailed it. Almost just a, and he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Ooh. Oh, close line. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. 
man, what a gut buster. He's starting to stumble here. Wow. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment, and it cost him. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 double. Uh oh. This just ain't going to do it. He fights his way free, but how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way out? Harsh impact. Oof. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. The two out of three falls match you saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss Cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double counter. What a stomp! Good grief! Looks like he's starting to tire. Guys, he's gonna have to turn things around quickly if he wants to win this thing. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Hey, he can still win this thing, guys. Jeez. We've all seen him come back from much worse. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Uh oh. There's no way he's giving up now. And he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. He's too quick for him there. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Oh, he's got him up. Not good for the back and body. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstar's feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch and the referee must see the tag be made. Sharp knee. Knee drops. That was nasty. So precise. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team oh. Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team title tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was a team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE. We've seen this before. Is he done? How'd he do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. What a strike right on the mark. Got their opponent up. 
Tagged in. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half, isolating your... He might have it. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's not looking good here. I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making it... Up and, uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute! Up and down! Wow, I'm shoulders on the back. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Close line! A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, he's able to reverse it. He's looking at it. What a cutter! Just when you thought he had nothing left. Oh, and he reverses it. Just breaking down the opponent. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. <laughs> you got to believe this one's over. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and I don't disagree. Unless this thing turns around here, this tag team match is all but over. I'm not sure he has much left. Boy, at this point... He's going to need to have some magic up his sleeve if he wants to get back in this match. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. him with a reversal. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a win. Uh-oh. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Is he done? Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. What a strike. What a stop. Good grief. Oh, what impact. Perfectly executed. Oh boy, he is rolling. Stay down, man. He might have it. Axe handle finds the mark. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. He has him right where he wants him. 
This could be it. Ooh, nasty impact. This one is over. Can he score the pin? He's making a statement here with this attack. He's on his heels. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to... There's the cover! Now that's what I call making a statement. Dodges a bullet there. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Crashing down the hard way. If he goes for the cover. Double axe head is smashed. Ali up and dominating shoulder tackle. Axe handle finds its target. Set it up. Just a debilitating neck breaker. But little Jimmy hurts. Oh man, what a light drop! He's ooh, what impact! I'm not sure how much he has left. Thunderous slam. Can he finish the job? What? But he's got to capitalize now. Oh, he turns it around. If every tag team in the back isn't watching this match right now, they're doing themselves a major disservice. Oh boy, he is rolling. No, he reverses it. Uh-oh. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He wants it one. You gotta believe this one's over. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Irish whip. Gets the tag. Whoa, man, what a splash. He's so close to making it. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Oof. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. Nailed it. Harsh impact. Boom! <laughs> Arnie dodges out of the way. Irish whip. Here he goes. Full impact. Here's his moment, Michael. There he goes, crashing to the floor.
And Byron, this takes a ton of strength to pull off, am I right? Oh, you are definitely right, Michael. But you also have to remember how much energy it drains to pull off. Oh, and he reverses it. Oh, bell claps. Back now inside the ring. The longer this fight goes on, the more wear and tear on each competitor. Who is going to have enough to pick up the win? Shoulder tackle! Uh-oh. Oh, boy, he is rolling. This just ain't going to do it. Ah, oh, just barely making it to the ropes. A few inches in the other direction, and this one was over. Destroyed. What a slam! Impactful. Will jar your spine. These superstars wearing the wounds right now of what has been an absolutely thrilling matchup. for the finish. He might have Boom. the button to think. I hope he's got him covered. One, two. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. Oh, he's got him up. Boom, spikes him down. not looking good here. This match is definitely testing his metal, guys. If I'm his partner, I'm furious right now. There's no reason why he shouldn't have made a tag by now. The bottom line here is that despite what's going on right now, he's still in much more favorable health than his opponent. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, no. We know what this is. Absolutely spiked. DDT. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough? His shoulders are down. That could have been it right there. Oh, and he releases the hold. Wow. Part of me thought that was it, Cole. We know what's coming here. Uh-oh. Got him in the sleeper. Is he going to pass out? That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Looking for the win. And now, one more time, Ooh, nasty impact. Just when you thought he had nothing left. He's got the shoulders down. Tap. Beautiful technique. Pick up your teeth in the third row. In off the tag. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Tagged in. Going for something else, it seems. I suspect he knows something that we don't know. Why else would he just let him out of that hole? Whoa, he lets him out. What a fool. He had him dead to rights.
Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, man, backbreaker. That has got to be it. Irish whip. Wicked clothesline. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. He's playing with him now. A second. This might be it. Oh, my. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two. Big harsh impact. Incredible. Ooh, what impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. Slam. Can he finish the job? Oh, boy, he is rolling. He looks for it. The cutter never ceases to amaze me. It could be over here. This is it. Three. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. He ain't playing here. Look at him go. Almost forgot about this one. Every single minute of this one was memorable. Here are your winners, Gorilla and Gorilla. The referee's three count ends this one. And there's your winner, folks. Wow, I can't believe the amount of punishment that had to be inflicted in order for those shoulders to stay down for the three count. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing contest that was.